I would like to present something that I lovingly refer to as cape wearing actions. It's when someone is struggling and asks for your help and you leap in with an opportunity to help them, to fix what they're going through, to solve their problem for them. You put on your cape and you play the hero. And oftentimes when we make that decision, we are mustering up parts of our personality, compassion and kindness. And sometimes when we have the inverse occurring, when someone sees us struggling and then they say, hey, it looks like you're struggling, do you need some help? Instead of telling the exact same story of compassion and kindness, we tell a different story. We tell the story of, are they trying to one-up me? Do they think that I am not good enough, capable enough? We have a negative inverse story. So we place ourselves in a position of hero, but we place others in the position of villain. These types of thoughts can really whittle down and resonate to an encompassing skill of emotional intelligence known as authenticity. And authenticity under emotional intelligence is described as transparency in our approach, a transparency in our leadership in life without titles. It is known as the demonstration of fair and moral behavior. It's an internal way of being and also an external way of demonstrating the same treatment internally as we do externally. And the skills that relate to this type of authenticity expression is first self-actualization, then reality testing, self-regard, emotional self-awareness, social responsibility, and independence. And the one that usually shows up as lacking in cape wearing actions is emotional self-awareness. So my storytelling is what leads me down a positive road or a negative road. And that storytelling is all based on my beliefs. So if I can peel away the layers of my beliefs and I can debate and dispute, uh, dispute those beliefs and then discard them, what I'm opening myself up to is actually staying present in the moment. And instead of using my storytelling to look for things to confirm my story, I instead stay present in the moment. And when someone asks me something or behaves in a certain way, if I'm unsure of their meaning, it encourages me to dial up my reality testing and ask a question. And then I no longer play the role of hero and I no longer put them in the role of villain.